Example 13, 2a plus 3b times 5x minus 7y. We'll do a FOIL here. First, outer, inner, last. The first terms are 2a and 5x. Those multiply together to give us a 10ax. The outer terms, 2a and negative 7y, multiply together to give us a negative 14ay. Then the inner terms, 3b and 5x, those multiply together to give us a positive 15bx. And then the last terms, 3b and negative 7y, multiply to give us a negative 21by. And that's the answer. We're done at this point. None of these variables were the same. We have a, b, x, and y. They're all different. So all four of these terms end up being different. There are no like terms that can be combined. So that's our answer. Example 14, 3a minus 5b times 4a plus 6b. Let's do a FOIL. 3a times 4a is 12a squared. Then 3a times 6b is 18ab. Then the inner terms, negative 5b and 4a is negative 20ba, but I'll write it as negative 20ab. And then we have negative 5b times 6b, which is negative 30b squared. And we have two terms here that are both ab terms, so those can be combined. We'll keep our 12a squared, and 18ab minus 20ab works out to negative 2ab. And then we still have the minus 30 b squared, but that's our answer. 12 a b, sorry, 12 a squared minus 2 a b minus 30 b squared. And example 15 is a little bit harder. We have three things multiplied together. The way to do this is to multiply two of them together and get something that's equivalent to that, and then that will be multiplied by the a plus 3. So we'll start by doing the a plus 2 times the a minus 5, and then we'll tack on the a plus 3 on the end. So let's do a foil, foil here with just the a plus 2 and the a minus 5. So we do the first terms, that gives us a squared, and then the outer terms give us a minus 5a, and the inner terms give us a plus 2a, and the last terms give us a minus 10. What we have here is these two multiplied together. That still has to be multiplied by a plus 3. Before I do that multiplication though, I want to simplify this first factor. And I can combine the minus 5a and the plus 2a. And when I do that, I get a squared minus 3a minus 10 and that's multiplied by a plus 3. Now this I know how to do. I just have to take each term in the first one and multiply by each term in the second one. So I'll do this systematically. I'm going to start here with the a squared and I'm going to multiply a squared times a that gives me a cubed and a squared times 3 that gives me a 3a squared. Now I'll look at the negative 3a. I want to multiply the negative 3a times the a. That gives me a, a negative 3a squared. And I multiply the negative 3a times the 3. That gives me a negative 9a. And then I'll look at the negative 10. I have to multiply the negative 10 by each of those. So negative 10 times a gives me a negative 10a. And negative 10 times 3 gives me a negative 3. 30. Now I'll combine some like terms. a cubed is the only a cubed term, so I just write it down. Then I have 3a squared and a negative 3a squared. Those two cancel each other out, which is kind of nice. 
I have a negative 9a and a negative 10a. Those combine to give me a negative 19a. And then I have the negative 30 on the end, which sticks around. And that's my answer. All the like terms have been combined. a cubed minus 19a minus 30.